Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. Wednesday the 26th of January 2022, uh, midweek through the week and uh, so good to be able to welcome you on this beautiful morning coming to you from my uh, residence uh, study in Sun City, Oro Valley, Arizona in the United States and welcome to Peace Through the Word, uh, a devotional ministry, daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church in Benson, Arizona, uh, which is in Cochise County. It's about 40 some miles from Tucson, about 65 from Oro Valley. Oro Valley is a suburb of Tucson. It's comparable to like Scottsdale is to Phoenix. And so uh, a little bit further uh, away uh, that uh, Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church is, uh, but uh, Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church is in Cochise County, which was very historical uh, in the formulation and the expansion of the United States in the West. Uh, down in Cochise County. Cochise County is Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, uh, Cochise, uh, the Apache uh, uh, situation in the United States, uh, the Civil War, a uh, lot of history here in Southern Arizona and uh, in Cochise County as well. So uh, we are so blessed to be able to minister there. But it is so good to be able to welcome you this morning to Peace Through the Word and I'm trusting that you're receiving that as you chime in worldwide, no matter where you may be coming in from uh, to this particular piece of ministry. We've been talking about various um, <clears throat> qualities of life uh, in our daily devotions. Uh, yesterday we talked about <clears throat> the, uh, the quality of... Um, being peaceful, and then we talked about, about humility, gentleness, faithfulness, and so on. And today we're going to be looking at the quality of being loyal. And, uh, you know, the Bible has a lot to say about that, and specifically uh, within the Old Testament book of Ruth. Uh, Ruth was very loyal to her uh, mother-in-law, Naomi. In fact, Naomi, uh, as you read in the book of Ruth, uh, encouraged her uh, daughters-in-laws at the death of their husbands to go back to their own families. And most of them did, with the exception of Ruth. Ruth said, no, your family is my family, and I'm here to stay with you. And Naomi lost her husband as well. But uh, Ruth was loyal to Naomi and stayed with her. And so Jesus desires for us to remain loyal to him and his word. And so uh, we're going to be talking about that this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. So, brothers and sisters, the passage of Scripture that, the, our, that our devotional is going to unpack for us is, again, in that book of Ruth. And it deals with, um, in Ruth chapter 2, beginning in verse 20. And uh, we have this recording. It says, And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, 
May he be blessed by the Lord whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. Naomi also said to her, The man is a close relative of ours, one of our redeemers. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. It says, Loyal as a dog. Now think about that. If you've got a dog, I would suspect that that dog of yours is extremely loyal. Uh, we had a dog, a wonderful uh, dog, a little girl. Uh, her name was Chica. She was a, uh, uh, a uh, what was she? She was a uh, Yorkie Poo, uh, a, York, a Yorkshire and a Poodle mix. And just as loyal as you could imagine. I mean, she just emulated love. But I suspect that's up with all dogs. All dogs are loyal to their masters, to their owners. They're very loyal, extremely loyal. In fact, they've been called man's best friend. And they're, they're used in many different capacities uh, for therapeutic uh, health for people, for help people uh, ambulate, uh, blind, uh, seeing eye dogs, uh, all kinds of, and then there, the United Airlines uses dogs in their various airports to go around and let people pet them in order to relieve stress of travel. <laughs> so, I mean, that's United Airlines. So dogs are extremely loyal. But that's the gold standard. But dogs are not thinking creatures in the way that humans are. They are thinking creatures, no question. They're very smart, and so are horses. Animals are incredibly intelligent. They really are, to the glory of God. But they're still not as intelligent as humans. There's nothing more intelligent than a human being. You know, the human brain is the most complicated, complex uh, organism in in all of creation. They'll never develop a computer sophisticated as the human brain. Um, so to be loyal while knowing the cost, that's worth praising. Think of the hobbit Sam in The Lord of the Rings. He knew that following Frodo into a venerable hell on earth would likely lead to death, but he went anyway. Now, I'm, I'm not familiar with that uh, film, but perhaps you are. When Ruth followed her mother-in-law, Naomi, to Israel, she prioritized loyalty over her own safety, security, and happiness, and she did. She sacrificed all that for Naomi. In Israel, Ruth was a poor widow, a foreigner with no family apart from Naomi. They lived on bits of grain Ruth man that Ruth managed to glean from Boaz's fields. But Ruth's loyalty to Naomi was made known to Boaz, who saw Ruth as praiseworthy and gave her first choice of the harvest. They later got married. Truly, God sees and blesses our displays of godly loyalty. More often, though, we are selfish and we are disloyal, especially to our faith and to our Father in heaven. And we are, and that's a matter of major concern, especially amongst United States Christians. With all the blessings that God has bestowed upon the United States for American Christians to be disloyal to their church attendance, to the study of God's word, and to uh, being willing to be discipled by him is an absolute atrocity. But it happens very regularly here in the United States. So when we choose sin, we choose our will over God's. He remains loyal to us, though, nonetheless. Knowing it would result in his earthly death, Christ put us first to ensure our eternal future. On his loyalty, we can rely. And that's only by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Jesus is loyal to us, not that we are loyal to him. So let me pray. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for bringing our disloyal hearts to faith in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray that will bless you, inspire you, encourage you 
and give you genuine real peace as you seek to be loyal to God and his word in his church. So my brothers and sisters, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. So blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. So, O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, on this Wednesday morning, let's pray the most beautiful prayer that can be prayed, the Lord's Prayer, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, let me thank you so much for chiming in this morning, wherever you may be. And um, Mommy, Iris Hernandez, chiming in from... Uh, Santa Rosa Copan Honduras thank you so much for chiming in this morning it is so appreciated all the way from Santa Rosa Copan Santa Rosa Copan Honduras is near uh, Guatemala not very far from Guatemala beautiful country beautiful people wonderful people uh, praise Jesus for them and thank you so much for chiming in Thank all of you for chiming in worldwide, wherever you may be this morning. Uh, and, and we are so very, very much appreciated. Pray that you found genuine real peace this morning as you begin your day and you begin your week. Arthur Fennell, good morning to you. Thank you for chiming in from the beautiful state of Oregon. Trusting that all is well with you as well. So my brothers and sisters, again, it's another beautiful day here in Sun City, Oro Valley, Arizona, in the United States, clear skies. And so I really encourage all of you to go out and enjoy the blessings of the Lord in abundance, wherever you may be. And uh, so the flaps have been retracted, and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>